Hello everyone, myself Ritesh. I have five years of experience into data engineering and data analytics field. My key skills or key expertise are uh, Power BI for reporting purpose, uh, the database that is SQL. And uh, I have also have expertise into Azure Cloud, which includes uh, ETL that is Azure Data Factory, ADLS, Logic Apps and Databricks. I've been working for multiple MNCs since last five years. I've worked for retail, I've worked for automobile, and I've also worked for cloud and technological domains. Hello everyone, welcome to KSR YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about few important concepts related to the Power BI file extensions. Now this is frequently asked in Power BI intermediate or high level interviews. This is quite, quite very easy to understand, but uh, kind of difficult to recall whenever you are trying to give any specific Power BI interviews. Usually we only know about PBIX, which is most commonly used Power BI extension. Now, apart from PBIX, we have few more extensions as well. Now, these are the four frequently used or four different types of Power BI file extensions. We already know uh, for any Power BI report which we develop, it is always saved as PBIX file, which is nothing but Power BI Exchange. The long form is Power BI Exchange. Now, what do you mean by PBIX? Let us take a few examples. It's quite simple. I am using a, a report which is developed uh, for Amazon related sales. Now, this is Amazon sales analysis report. This report has few KPIs and this is polling data from our local system only. Now, if I want to save this specific report, now usually this specific report is saved as .pbix file. Now, if I wanted to save it again also, if I click on save as, we can see the extension, which is nothing but Power BI Exchange, which is uh, .pbix extension. Now, this is most commonly used for any specific report. This is always saved as PBIX. Uh, extension for the desktop files or the development which we are doing at our local systems. Now, apart from PBIX, we also have a file extension called as PBIT. Now, what do you mean by PBIT? PBIT is nothing but Power BI template. Now, PBIT and PBIDS, which is nothing but Power BI data source, club together to give us one single entity, which is nothing but PBIX. Now, how different Different these two are. Let us take an example of PBIT. PBIT is nothing but a Power BI template file, which will only save the front end template. The front end reports, KPIs, and front end template would be saved as a PBIT file. If you save anything which is extension, I mean, which extension is ending with PBIT. Now, how do I save this PBIT file or how do I get this PBIT template file? Simply go to the report. If I go back to file, in the file, we always have an option. We have an option called as export. Now we have an option export to PDF, which will take a print, which will take a copy of this report. Apart from this, we also have an option called as Power BI template. Now, If I click on this, it will ask me for some description. Now you can give any specific de description. Now this is Amazon sales analysis information. Now this is description. If I click on OK, it will ask me where do you want to save this file? See, it is asking me where do I want to save this specific file? Now, once you see here, the file extension has changed from PBIX to PBIT. Power BI template. A kind of template file would be stored, which is front end data only or the reporting perspective only, which is stored as a template file. Now, this is how we save the Power BI template file. Now, apart from template, we also have a concept called as PBIDS. This is also a file extension used in Power BI. What do you mean by PBIDS? PBIDS is nothing but a Power BI data source file. Now, how we get this PBIDS file? Let me go back to the report. In the report, if I go to transform data option or maybe recent data sources, but the best option is transform data. In the transform data, we get an option called as data source settings. If I simply click on this, you might be getting data from multiple sources. So for this report, we are getting this from a CSV file in our local system. 
and I want to only save the backend data source, not the front end report. Now there is an option called as export PBIDS. If I click on this, you can simply see sample superstore, which is nothing but our CSV file name, the backend data source name. It is asking me to save the data source, not the complete report. Power BI data source file PBIDS. Now you might also have a question that where do we use this PBIT? Where do we use this PBIDS? Now PBIT is usually used if you only want to save the historical templates, not the complete data set, only historical KPIs and templates. In such cases, you can save any specific report only as a template, not as a PBIX complete exchange file. Now, if you save this PBIT file, usually if you save this PBIT file, the report would be compressed only front end KPIs, whichever I mean the front end KPIs, how, how, how amount of storage they occupy only that storage would be taken place or that storage would be occupied. And where do we use this PBIDS file? Now PBIDS file is used whenever a certain team member or maybe there is a certain team where three different Power BI developers are working on the same data source. Now the data source might be same, but every Power BI developer or the data analyst is working on different different views. Now in such cases, if you only save this PBI DS file, go to transform data source settings and export PBI DS file. If you only save this PBI DS file and share with the multiple developers, so every developer will develop their own front end report and they can merge it at the end together as a one single PBIX file. Use case of PBIT and use case of PBI DS. At the end, RDL dot RDL extension. Now this extension is used for Power BI paginated reports. Wherever paginated report concept comes into picture, the RDL file extension, it is stored usually as a dot RDL extension. Now we have already covered what do you mean by paginated report? We'll give a link uh, for the, the, the report or the for the paginated video which we have covered uh, with this video also in the above URL or the above uh, notification. Now, how do we get this RDL file exchange, uh, uh, RDL file extension? Now, if I simply give an example, give an idea. So there is a report called as inflation dot paginated inflation underscore paginated. Let this report open. Now this is paginated report. Now if I run this, now usually we see this option. We get this option paginated report. Now for paginated report, we require an external tool called as Power BI report builder. Power BI report builder. Now for this report builder, whichever reports we are trying to build using this report builder, which is nothing but a paginated report. This file is always saved as dot RDL extension, which is nothing but report definition language dot RDL extension. I simply clicked on file save as and if you see here dot RDL extension. Now let me open it. Yep, that's it. Thank you for the 